Hello, and welcome to another session of San Francisco by Night, Hunter the Vigil. Tonight, the search for Cassius begins. Our scene takes us to what the players have dubbed the Batcave, where people are waiting and discussing and getting ideas to find Cassius, because there has been some leeway that has been discovered. Take it away. Uh, what information would we have known at the moment from the tracking? You know that from the tracking, uh, Cassius's phone was last used near the Harbor District of San Francisco. It is a very large pier district that now stretches throughout most of the Bay Area. It is very large, very numerous, just think very massive amounts of storage containers, docking, floating ships, all sorts of things coming in and out. So it's yes. it was last used from that location. Is that where the murders were happening? There were some murders there. Right? There were there were some that were happening down there. Yeah. This is a bit worrisome. So Caden is probably getting dressed in his armor as we, as they talk. This is. Pretty worrisome. This is where he was. You see Ruben with two birds on his arm. Two birds? Yes, the birds. Let me lower the volume or something. Okay, this better. Damn it. Anyway, yes. Um, What's with the birds? They're here to help look for stuff. Ah, drones. Yes. You look know, pretty realistic, you, don't they? You get weirder and weirder as we go, you realize. Hey. If I have these drones as drones, people would notice. No one would notice a fucking crow. Because it's a crow. And not a flying machine of, I don't know, white metal with like helicopter blades or whatever. It's a crow. No one notice birds. Just flying rats. Fine, fine, fine. <sighs> flying rats. I have no idea what we're supposed to be... What we're going to find over there. Something. Hopefully. 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 Are we ready to head out? Yeah. Should we should we call Valentine? She's a officer. I mean, that would probably be a good idea since she is a cop and she is, you know, RoboCop. And she's a friend. Yeah, primarily. I'm going to call Valentine then. While you do that, I'm going to make sure the luck is in our favor. And Ruben's gonna pull out his notepad and draw some weird ass magical sigils. Um, what is the rule for uh, doing a ritual again? What did we agree on? I forgot. I'm sorry. Intelligence occult. Intelligence occult. That's why people keep notes. What? Motherfucker. Let's see. Two successes. I am going to do nine again some searching. For okay. both Hayden and Cassandra. Alright. 
How are you doing the ritual? Like, what does it consist of? Go ahead and be descriptive. Basically, please. he is using, he's drawing like arcane circles on a piece of paper and writing a person's name and then some sentence in Latin of what it should be uh, done uh, doing, what it will uh, help with. Does he even know Latin? Yes. Hmm. Let's see if I can find a picture. What's with the silence? Mm -hmm. Just do the phone call. Call me, maybe. I'm already calling you, so... <clears throat> Riding in a car with um, Alex heading off to talk to my contact. It... Hey! Hey, Caden, it's been a second. What you up to? I need... I need to meet with you near the Harbor District. Oh? Okay, I, I mean... Me and, um... Me and Alex are doing a thing, but sure, we'll, we'll help you. Um, what are you, what are you trying to do up in the harbors? Trying to find someone. And who would that be? Oh, who have I told you that is missing? Oh. Oh, have you heard anything from him? He just said it. he had an emergency, but that's about it. In, I don't know, two weeks, basically, that's all he said. Oh, oh okay. I'll, um... I'll be over in like as soon as I can. I have to fin I have to get I have to finish what I'm doing immediately with me and but me and is it alright if I bring Alex? Uh is she going to tell anyone? No. No, she's she, I trust her enough. Fine. All right. See you. In a, see you when we see you. Mhm. Mm I'm going to just give you an, an address that is near the area, but not too close, so that we can meet before the right. before going in. And I'm gonna look to Alex and say, "Hey, so um, I know we're going to talk to my contact here, but uh, after after that, um, some of the others are." needing us for, uh, want to know if you want to help with an investigation. You in? Um, hopefully I can help the investigation again. Alright. So yeah, we'll we'll do that. She knows. And she's like, opening radio on your uh, car. Don't you got like, better music? Or it's fucking to- how, how dare you? That's toaster head. She like turn changes the music and tries to find California girls from Katy Perry. You're lucky that's also my jam. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back back to you three. Okay, I think I have everything. I have my kids here, I have log picks. I don't I don't know if we're gonna need them, but you know, I have log picks, I have a crowbar, I have Flashlight, I have my kit, I have a multi tool, night vision goggles. Uh, do we need anything else? Comms. Uh, no, I think I have everything. I just need our wits. Well, sometimes it's good to have equipment. Anyway, uh. I'm gonna put them in the car. Let's go. 
Yeah. Yep. By the way, is the sword talking more now? Or is it still not strong enough? Ren. Say again, was that me? Uh, is the sword talking more now, or is it, or is it still not strong enough? It's... You've definitely felt a presence there, but for whatever reason, it has not spoken very recently. Hmm. Even though I killed someone extremely powerful with it. Mm-hmm, and you can feel the presence definitely increase, but it's still not very talkative. Hmm. Would that mean that Jacobs might not be dead? Lens. No. No. I'm talking about Jacobs. Come on. What are the chances that Lens would have survived that? Anyway. Back in character. <laughs> so what exactly are we doing? You said going to a uh, sort of a place like the harbor well, thank you or something. For Cassius. Yeah, I know we're looking for caches, but how are we going to look for caches? Do we have a place where we can start? Yes, this is his last known location based on the tracking that we did. No thanks to okay. you! What? I mean... You don't need to argue right now, okay? You guys didn't call me or anything, so... Uh. Well, yeah, we were kind of busy. Yeah, so don't blame me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit on edge. Yeah, let's just find Cassius and make sure he's safe. Ruben, when are you going to try to do that thing uh, that the old man told you to do? Oklahoma? Soon, I yeah. hope. I really want to go to Oklahoma and find this ruins so sooner than later would be nice right maybe once we get caches and get the answers we need we might be able to go there thank you do you know how I... long it will take us in Oklahoma yes no. All I know is I'm supposed to find... <laughs> it's really cryptic, but I'm supposed to find something there. Apparently there was an ancient monastery and there's some stuff. Uh, let's just... Don't think about that for now, let's just focus on finding caches. That's what mattered the most at the moment. Yeah. The ruins won't vanish out of thin air. So, well, we he have didn't time. vanish out of thin air, he left. The point is, we have as much time as we need to go to Oklahoma. So, let's just find gashes. Oh, is there, like, any uh, information on temples on Oklahoma that were abandoned? Like, that one could have studied? Well, we can look for them before we go. I was I was asking Brandon in this uh, case to see if maybe I could draw something. Uh, describe to me what you're trying to do. Well, just to know if there there's like information of any temples that used to be there but are no more. Nothing. A coat, just like maybe. I think it's a bit too intelligence, random. intelligence, intelligence, academics. Uh, can I help? I I'm gonna help. You can aid. Yeah, I'm going to aid. Okay, get two more for me. 
just you? Um, yeah, there's a lot of old ruins out kind of by the near the central of the country now that a lot of these towns and whatnot have moved into the bigger cities. And there are kind of some really a lot of old abandoned mining places. Um, there are a lot of old abandoned towns and settlements, so you never know. There might be something out there, but you definitely think there could be very easily something out there. Nothing like from an ancient civilization though, right? No, but ruins could mean something like just ruins of a town or ruins of a place. Mm -hmm. hmm. Strange. It's not like this was very this is, this is a very ancient place but perhaps an old town there is that is that what he means it could mean anything quite frankly you know yeah again it's very cryptic and vague yeah well, maybe we could squeeze in Tokyo before that, then. Let's go. <sighs> so what exactly did he tell you to find there? You said it's vague, but... specifics? Yeah. <sighs> Why are we talking about this and not finding caches right now? Well, you know, we're driving. We have to speak about something while driving. We won't be finding caches inside the vehicle, so... Might as well, right? Right. I'm supposed to find... Like... Well, to be honest, I don't didn't really say what I will find. He said I will find something that I am looking for. What are you looking for? <sighs> Any clues on how to prevent to revert vampirism? Hmm. Anything? Is that really what you're looking for? Yes. Anything. The only way that you know that you're actually in need of something is when you find that thing and see that it's, it is useful. Perhaps, perhaps you think you need that. But when you go there and find it, it's going to be something else. I guess we will find out when we ever go to Oklahoma. Well, you know that this might be a wild goose chase in the end, so be prepared. Perhaps, perhaps you are looking for yourself. All I know is I'm looking for a way to make sure that if if Andy ever wants to become human, it's there. I don't know if it, if I will find it, but I just want to have it, if it ever happens, trying everything. Have you talked to Andy? Not since we last saw him. Oh, it's kind of hard to guess what he wants left with. That's true. Why don't you call him? Just... I don't know. I do. Well, you never know if you don't try. Yeah. Come on, Ruben, you already know what he's going to say. That's why you don't. 
I know, but I still want to have it just in case he changes his mind, you know? I suppose. Having Better the option is not bad. I agree with that. Just I don't really trust the old guy. But yeah, like you said, in reality, I really have no clue what I will find there. It could be nothing, it could be something else. No, what? I think you will find something that you're looking for, no matter what happens. Because I just want to try. That's how people are. Just want to try, you know? <sighs> so, what did Valentine say? She'll be she'll meet us there. Well, nearby. She just has to solve something before. She's going to meet with someone, I think. Oh, also, she is going to invite Alex. Oh. Oh, I think I think Ruben and Alex might get along. Uh, oh, how fun! No. You know, can you not if be they negative? This position, I don't think he'll get along with anyone. This is fine. No, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about him. He doesn't seem to be, you know, a person who one would want to approach right now. Well, Ruben, if you would get your head out of your ass for a little bit and be a bit more social, she's a fine girl. Hey, like I told you guys before, I'm celibate and I am no longer in the debauchery business. And, you know, it helps. Uh, dude, when did Being you become impolite stupid? Helps. Would you be what you said, Lucas? I'm asking if being impolite helps. I mean... Polite with what? Do you think that simply getting people away from you is the best way to keep your vows of celibacy. You still mm. can be friendly with people, you know. I know, but... Well, it doesn't mean that what? you have to go to bed with them. Cassandra is suggesting... You know... You have no idea what I'm suggesting, okay? You don't assume She's what I think. a very nice girl, and he air quotes. I didn't say this is nice, I said this is fine. This is not nice. From what I heard, she ripped some people apart. Oh, okay, okay that kind of sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, see? Like you stayed a chance with her anyways. <laughs> He's a redhead, bitch. <laughs> I fuck redheads for fun. <laughs> um, Brandon, are are we gonna do the thing with the meeting of the um, officer uh, justice's friend, or do you want us to go near the the group? I imagine the group thing would take priority first, and then we can do that later. I kind of needed really information good. from her, though. Based on well, Cassius that she knows. At the moment, she's unavailable. So. Ah. Very well. All right. Well. Then I guess we. All right, Alex. She um. She says she's kind of preoccupied at the moment, so we're gonna have to come back for her later. Ah. Uh, you like Lady Gaga? Of course I like it, Lady Gaga. 
she puts the bad romance. Yes, queen. Yes. And we're going to beeline it towards the place you guys are meeting at. While, like, I think they arrived, this is the time they're, like, hearing Lady Gaga on the, ra uh, the, the music, and they're, like, listening to Poker Face. Oh, of course they are. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, they're listening to all these. Pulling up in my very nice flying Mustang, because of course I am <laughs> in my own car. So, to those who see Alex for the first time, namely you, Bullet. Well, let us get out of the car first. <laughs> oh, okay, go. So. You weren't all ready? No, we were driving from further oh. away than you guys. We're probably at the rooftop of some building, because it's safer. You know, more hidden. Okay. So, how do we do this? Where do we meet Valentine? You should be here soon. Did you tell her that we're gonna be meeting up on the roof? I would be pulling uh, up right about now. Yeah, I'm going to send a text that we're on the roof. Once they arrive at the roof, the everyone sees a tuning. There's, you know, Officer Christine and Alex, but to um, explain this to Bullet or Ruben, Alex is a size 5 individual who has a bunch of scars on her face, on her chest, in her arms, like she got clawed by something, or slashed, um, and she is looking like size 9 for some reason, it's like she kind of owns the room she is in, but she remains behind Officer to do the talking. And she waves with awkwardly to Alex and Caden and nods at Ruben. Y'all know this I is technically it. a parking violation, right? <sighs> Come on, Christine, give me a break here. Uh, oh no, no one's actually gonna say anything. I'll just say it. it technically is, but so. How is it a parking violation? We're not blocking anyone. There is no sign you're, you're here. On a it doesn't matter. No one is going to be able to identify this vehicle. Is this the Batmobile? Uh, That's not what we're calling it. Is it? Right? The is it? But he. Is it your special what car? What about yes. Bat? Valentine glances over at the car. Which? What does it actually look like again? I sent the picture of the other thing here. Let me see if I can. Find it. She grumbled. Right, yeah. Um, <laughs> Ruben is gonna nod to Alex, like a hello type of thing. Oh, okay, hi, Kayden Alex. Is... Kaden is dressed in his armor, so you can't really see his face or anything. Hey, Alex, this is my buddy Ruben. Ruben, this is Alex. This is pretty badass. Hello. Hey, um, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is not uh, mine. Name's Alex. <clears throat> so, um, what's the, the deal? Well, I was tracking, um, Cassius and his last known location was around this area, so... Oh, Cassius is, um... Uh, My friend. Yes, and he's missing, and... We're looking for him. 
Okay, you see, like, are we thinking like some people got him and he was missing and we need to find no, this type of no, thing? No, no, no. He just left and said it was an emergency, but we really need to find him. So we're babysitting him? No. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Okay. Just uh, trust me. Um, while everyone is talking, I would like to make my bird scout the area for any points of interest that might uh, help us in this investigation. Brandon? The picture is in the image channel. Mm, um, okay. What would you like me to roll for that perception? Mm, yeah, what's composure? It's fine. You're playing League, aren't you? Wow. Does it say oh, I'm playing League? No, I was reading something. That's even worse. I got two successes on the perception check. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you have not, to answer your question, uh, not so, no, you have not. Um, so, you guys are at the harbor looking around. Um, Ruben, you get a sense that as you enter the harbor district, there are containers and ships and just it's a massive shipping yard cranes and etc half of them are being used half of them are not there's you know gu you know guards here security here and depending upon how you guys are getting in Ruben you kind of seem to see one of the birds fly over towards maybe more of a eastern direction towards what is labeled as uh, Bay 2 but there are, you know, security fences, cameras, gates, etc. Since it is a shipping yard. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, we need to find the exact point where he was last pinged and take it from there, I suppose. But how do we approach this? Quietly. Alex, Obviously. Alex kind of like stops. starts to check this uh, place that uh, we are in front of. Uh, she has the illusion of safety, uh, Beast Power. It's basically by watching an object or location, Beast understands the point of entry and how to defeat any pr protections. She gains understanding of layer dots, min uh, minus, not minus, sorry, uh, dot two rooms or compartments per turn of study. Storage areas such as clothes, closets, and wardrobes are considered separate rooms. I basically gain road quality, roll to gain any entry, room, or defeating locks or alarms. It's just this avatism only provides information about entry points, locks, and alarms. It doesn't provide information about the purpose of rooms or anything within it. This is not a roll. I get by watching more and more. Alrighty, so the front gate is kind of a standard seal mesh fence. Um, it has several guard posts at the side. Uh, it has a little security office right there next to it. Each one has about it has about four security cameras at each corner of the square building, uh, pointing outwards into different directions. There is also a security cam up by one of the posts, like on each fence post, like with a chain link fence. There's these little posts that come up, and there's two cameras at the front on these big poles looking down towards the gate. So in total, you can see about six cameras in this entryway. Like, you guys see Alex, like, looking at it from a distance, and then she immediately says those things that 
Brandon said. By just literally staring at this place, she says those things. Lots of cameras. Wait, how did you... How can you tell? I mean, okay, it's a good vantage point, but... Damn! Impressive. She just nods. There's a bunch of guards. Um, Ruben, could you try and loop them? Okay, I guess. Let's but, see. Uh, who can hear, you know, sneak try and to loop. What? I vaguely can sneak, but not really. You don't need to I sneak, know. you're a cop. Oh, we just true. need to find, I don't know, signs of life inside containers, probably. Oh shit, seven successes. I'm trying to, uh... loop the cameras. Uh, you successfully looped the cameras. And you managed done. to hack into their system. It's somewhat durable, but you managed to do it pretty easily. Actually, you not only managed to loop them, but you managed to loop a few others that were in the area. <laughs> I'm gonna like uh, stare at my laptop and press enter and go. I'm in. <laughs> ah, my eyes. Okay, so how about we have Valentine, who's a cop, distract them, at least the ones at the entrance, and the rest of us sneak in. All right. Also, n try to avoid fighting or killing anyone. These people didn't do anything wrong as far as we are concerned. I wasn't going to. Well, I can stay up here and provide um, surveillance with my birds. Um, I can tell you guys if there's any like guards near you and try to direct you to wherever the hell you guys want to go. Okay, yeah. keep connected to my comms, okay? One yeah. one question. Is this an official mission of the next section 9 or is this like a personal thing? No, that's a personal thing. Okay, who's leading this? I guess nobody really we are? does. The, the Are you concerned I... about payment? No, not everything is payment. All I'm saying is, sometimes when people talk too much, in a problem, a group is better with one person saying what to do. If shit goes to shit, I think we should choose one person to say, we're doing this, and we should do that. That's all I'm saying. Well, it is Batman's friend. Who's Batman? He's in armor. Look at him. Of course, I mean, Don't worry about it. I'm going to then leave that to me then, since this is since I'm bringing you all into this. I guess I should be giving instructions. That's how um, you know should usually works. Yeah, we will follow your lead then. Good. You guys want me to act as a um, alibi in case you get caught, so you can just quote unquote. I guess I uh, quote unquote arrest you guys, and we just I get you out in case things go badly. Go in there and say you're trying to inspect the place, maybe. Oh, I don't have the paperwork for that. Well, as a last resort, Surprise yes. Surprise inspection. I don't think she has the. Right, badges for that, but she could claim that she w was called in from inside. I don't think they would question her. I could do that. Um, I, I, that does give me reasonable means. I think the badge thing is a, not the badge thing, sorry, the handcuff thing makes sense. If shit goes to shit, you can just be like, oh yeah, we surrender, please, take us to police, and... 
I'll be right there. Yeah. Well, yeah, as a last resort again, let's try not to get caught. Well, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Can people roll, like, for, 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 like, to see, kind of, like, check Alex? I don't know, like, it used to be Perception Entity, but I don't know what to roll to understand how people feel. Uh, with, with sympathy? Uh, with sympathy. With sympathy. Like, just to check Alex, because, like, she kind of, like, remains silent, can you guys say, as a last resort? You are Alex. Yes. So, you're gonna check Alex? No, I ask you guys to check Alex. Oh. To see if you guys caught that she kind of, like, remains awkwardly, stupidly silent when it's said, well, you know, it's... Okay. She, what was the last resort? Because she do, does have another last resort. That she wow. One success. <laughs> what the fuck? Why, why? Oh my god, it's not a good day for all today. Oh, we're not starting well. Not you're gonna get a really good lecture while you're in the back of my squad car. <laughs> got two successes. She, like, with two successes, she seems she's hiding something. With one success, it's, it's like, hmm, she looks pretty awkward. If you have something to say, just say it. If shit goes to shit, there's another way of escape. And? I would rather it remain this way for now. Well, fair enough. We all have our own tricks. So, out of character, who exactly is going to be sneaking into that um, place? Probably I will. I will and too. Okay, so that's two of you. Okay, anyone else? Okay then, I am going to spend two willpower to give you two assholes uh, four extra dice for sneaking. This is so unnecessary. How long does that last for? This is the whole scene. Ooh, okay. this is so unnecessary though. Oh, well, it's not. Hey. It's good. It's never. Yeah, <laughs> but I kind of have to skate though. Like, I have to feel really bad in order to be seen. Okay, fine. Don't want it. I'll just uh, give no, it to Kaden. Uh, no, then give me uh, no, four no. dice instead of giving her two. Oh, wait. I thought it was four each. Yeah, four each. Well, no, I'll take the dice. I will take the dice as well. Should we roll for it, Brandon? Sure. Are you going to go stealthy? Me? Yeah. Yeah, she knows. Oh, by the way, in total you count about two guards out front and then you don't know how many are in the uh, guardhouse unless you sense them, but if you do, there's about maybe two or three in the guardhouse. I, I don't sense guards, no. Can I try to uh, have my drones uh, have a look around to see how many guards there are? Just um, for... Yeah, go ahead and roll stealth for your drone. This will be. Um, this, so, is this one of your uh, stealth drones? The modifiers. Uh, yeah, the one that looks like Ravens. Raven. Yeah, okay, so this will be. This will be 12 dice. Oh shit. Okay so, then. So, uh, my modifiers would be my spec and plus 4. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so your birds are fairly stealthed, and yeah, you can get a pretty bird's eye view of it, and you can send it to everyone's heads up display, so everyone will see a bird's Son eye view. Of a bitch. Of the... Only four successes. Is that the stealth roll? Yes. So, uh, you guys can see this stuff pretty well, just making sure. Um, what do I get from you, Ruben? Four. Sorry, what? 
Oh uh, yeah, for for stealth. Um, hey bot, is there any uh like specific things I can use to abuse like to get my way in? Any specific rules I can get my way in there as a cop? Show your badge. Without... Mm, you could. You know, why don't you see what you try if you want to? Is there like any way I can get some actual like just cause? You won't know until you try. Okay, fine. Do I add the shadowing specialty too? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Since you're Four. technically shadowing your your compatriots in there. Seven success. Holy shit. Yeah. So Holy Cassandra shit, I'm Cassandra, you feel pretty darn stealthy. Alex not quite so much, but you still Alex, you just barely, barely managed to get in there. Um, Caden, on the other hand, just vanishes into the shadows. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and you guys can all see a heads-up display of the bird flying around. Like, you, you can see the, on your head, uh, HDIV uh, vision. You can see a pretty nice high-up view of the warehouse yard. Pretty big. It actually goes all the way down the Harbor District, which is stretches for about a mile or two. So, probably only Caden and large. Valentine can see that. I only have the headpiece, the earpiece. I mean, because mm. I'm poor. <laughs> so, uh, Alex, one of them actually looks up and sees you. Kind of, are you guys going over the fence? You going straight through? What's going on? Uh, whatever way is the quieter. Okay, so. It's really difficult to kind of get through unless you guys are going to go over the fence. So you manage to get over the fence, and Cassandra, you get to one of the things, but as Alex drops down, one of the security guards over on the side goes, Hey, you there! Alex raises her hands. What the hell are you doing? Get out of here! And he pulls out his gun, and he starts escorting you over to the front gate. Is she, is he comes near me? Yeah, he comes near you. Does she like holds the gun to my face? No, he doesn't like he like you're he's just not aiming it at you. You're just trespassing. You're not doing anything deadly. He's just got it out and he's like, you know, ma'am, walk in front of me, please. What the hell are you doing? Get out of here. Oh. He doesn't want to shoot you, he just has it out because he Yeah, it's not boy. like trespasser, fire, you know, no, he's just got his gun out and he's taking precautions. So so he's, he's not like, like then I pay with your blood. Like, no, no, he's like he's like he's like he's like please leave. He's gonna escort you to leave the premises. But Alex is like looks like she doesn't wanna lie because she can't. And she looks like pretty like stressed. And she then says, like, but, 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 just go. Yeah, um, sorry, I thought my mom was here, I guess. Can I hear this? Can I, like, try to help her lie? <laughs> like, uh, I don't torture? see how you're going to do that. You're, you're dealing with the drones right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it. Okay. Just... Go with them and stay silent. I'm going to say through the update. Remember, Ruben, you're in the car right now. You're not sneaking into the facility at the moment. Yeah. You're the tech guy. Actually, I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to send through text because it's mm. less risky. Mm -hmm. Alex does opens her hands. Man, I'm up. I need you. I need you to I'm... walk towards the gate, please. I'm going to escort you out of here. Um, let's go. So he has you, you lead, because he stays behind you, and they will escort you out the gate. Like, I was thinking, like, is there, like, no one else except him? So maybe I can try to grapple him to, like... Uh, are, they, are they, no, they? they're they're all watching you. All oh, shit, okay. Well, at Sorry. least he's distracted, so we can take the opportunity to go to the spot where the last ping was. Uh, she, she basically like she, she's taking the uh, you know attention and she like leaves the place after they escort her out no one in here after hours ma'am nope 
problem. Hey. Don't let me catch you around here again. Go on. Ah. She comes near the car, where hopefully it's away from their eyes. Mm -hmm. And then she just says, I got caught. So you say that to Flynn and Valentine. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Do you I want to really... get in the car? I can't really. Yeah, you're all, you're all in the car at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to send a text uh, to them. If anything happens, you can start something with the car. Draw their attention. With my car in this case, because it's not traceable. I just look at uh, Alex and um, Christine and go, Wait, what? Does this car have rockets? Is that what he meant? We're not firing rockets, for Christ's sakes. If, I mean, it is the Batmobile, so it could probably. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and um, try my idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and call. I I know who these people are. Right, I know this place. Right, like I can. Oh, you know the place. Like you don't know the guards by name, but you know that they're. Yeah. You know, you know the the company that owns. Uh, you know. You most don't need to do that here. yet, though. Let's not play all our cards. I know. I'm just. Yeah. Just... Actually, right. do we even wait? Do I even want to... What? One at a time, guys. Uh, Caden first. Kiao said that her father owned a transportation company. Is that company related to this at all? One of them. Place? There's like six or seven transportation companies. Hmm. So, Valentine, what did you say you are going to do? Uh, actually, I think my whole point here is, I guess, is I'm just a way out in case things go badly, so... Okay. Or a distraction. Um, yeah. All right. So Cassandra and Caden, you make your way to the area where the last signal was recorded. You move your way through mazes of shipping containers and storage facilities. Uh, you go along the side ground with Ruben, basically hacking and taking out cameras as you go. It's almost disconcerting how maze-like some of these yards are. It's you know, going from a container here, container here, and then going down to a dead end. There's just thousands of them, all lined up in big stacks, about maybe six or seven containers high, stretching up above you, almost like towers. And you eventually find the area where the signal came from. It is an unmarked shipping container, simply a blue color, somewhat worn, and the container is currently locked with a quite a few locks on it, about three. And it is just kind of sitting by itself on the ground, kind of hidden away in the corner. Okay. Can I make an investigation roll to see if there is anything, like alarms or anything on this container? Sure. Let me help you with that. Would a crime scene kit help with that, or is it... Yes. Relevant? Yeah, that would help. Okay. So, um, so maybe I should help instead. Uh, what, what's, yeah. your, what's your pool? Ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, you should actually help. eleven. Yeah, mine is eleven too. <laughs> Alec does kind of like... Oh, those. no, Pe mine it's not eleven, it's more because I have the spec. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. Alex tells Ruben, if you can tell them to show me a place, I can check it with my eyes, and I'm, I'm quite good at catching lies and supernatural effects on... Crime scenes. Can you catch them through camera? I don't know, it's up the box. Uh you negative, you can't catch them through camera. No. That's one of the that's one of the things. Even Mage Sight tends to have trouble going through cameras at okay. certain things. So, so uh you you give me three extra dice. Sweet! Okay, so investigation, then you have plus two, plus two, plus seven. If this doesn't go well, I'm gonna shoot something. Holy shit! Mm. 
I should have spent one power path, honestly. God damn. All right, no, th well, three hits is still a success. It's actually oh, a, it's wait, a better wait, than wait, average Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, give me a second, because I have investigative aid, so it's an exceptional success. Yes. Yes. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay. Exceptional success. Um, yeah, you guys managed to find one of the security things, and I'll even say you can clip it due to the exceptional success. So you deactivate the security, now you just got to find a way for the, through the three locks. Okay, uh, there are two ways we can go about this, Kaden. Just break it. <sighs> but it's so crude. You wish What's to you just slice bring a through them? For? No, I also really have lockpicks. Hmm. Okay, let me try yeah. the lockpicks. And if that right. doesn't work, then we're gonna bring out the crowbar, okay? Hmm. Okay. Can't really help you with that. Yeah. Just remember, unless contested, okay. one success three. is barely succeeding, but anything past that is a standard to great success. Okay, so I got three that. successes on the lock picking. Okay, you managed to pick the first lock. Give me two more rolls for each lock. Or, well, another roll for each lock, so three rolls in total. Yes. Four... Yep. One. <laughs> hey, the last lock is a lot tougher than the other ones, but you still just barely managed to get it by, but you pick all three of them. See? Do not ask. I'm going to open it. You open the container, and it is what looks to be a storage container. There are many different things in this container as you flip the light switch on. In the very back of the container, there are paintings. Uh, three, three in particular. Uh, none of the people on the paintings look familiar or you recognize. Um, except for one. The one on the right is, in fact, a picture of Cassius before he lost his arms. They're very old, elaborate paintings and kind of like these nice Victorian frames. Uh, classical very classical paintings. Um, watercolor, very well detailed. Um, Cassius is sitting on a chair in a very um, elegant kind of looking suit. Almost looking almost looking very, I'll just say Victorian just because it's kind of the style. Um. Um, it's, it's like, it's almost like he's dressed for court or, as, a, as I would say. Um, he has kind of pulled back hair and almost more of a bun, almost similar to how your hair is now. And he um, is sitting in a very fine chair, nothing else really detailed about the matron. Uh, you find on the side there are several ammo boxes with ammunition rounds and several assault rifles. Uh, submachine guns, a couple pistols, grenades, explosives. Uh, to the right, there is a box of a lot of electronics. There's a laptop, computers, PDAs. There is another box full of uh, passports and a lot of different identifications that Cassius appears to have used in the past, possibly, because they are all addressed to him. Different names, different aliases, etc. Um, there is also a um, box containing uh, a red uh, a, a, a pendant a silver pendant with kind of like this weird claw around it, and in the middle of the claw there is a red ruby. That is what you guys find in the storage. I'm going to take the pendant. Do you touch it? Yeah. Okay, resolve composure, please. Oh, shit. Bum, 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 ba, da, 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 da. I think I need to be touching it, too. Okay, so you pick up the pendant, and nothing happens. Uh, can I see that? What's the pendant or that I'm taking it? Uh, I need to see if I can get any reading from it. <laughs> I don't know if this is appropriate, though. Seems like this is something Cassius would... 
Do you see what's in this room, Caden? Oh, but still. Fine. I'll just give you the pendant. Okay, I'll, I'll take the pendant. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll... Roll me, roll me resolve composure, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> you thought you were special or something. One. Okay. You feel the back of your mind tingle a bit, but nothing else seems to happen. Everybody has been telling me that I'm special. Now you're saying I'm not? Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> you're not special, <laughs> fuck you. What? Um, alright, hmm. so... What are you gonna do with the object? I'm going to use the Spirit's Touch. I got three successes. Alright. So... You fade into the Spirit View. No, I ask questions. I know, you fade into the spirit view as your questions are being asked, and I'll tell you what you see. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, uh, who is the last person who owned this or touched this? You see a woman with almost a black... It's tough to tell. Maybe black, maybe a very dark crimson, you're not sure. Uh, long, shoulder-length hair in a uh, kind of a, a black, I don't want to say military uniform, but it looks like, you know, it, it could be like a, maybe an officer's uniform. She has a, a brooch that you're holding now on her, her uniform. It is a red and black uniform, mostly black. Uh, she has some sort of military cap on with a officer's boots, if you will, designed more for females. And she is standing at a parade rest with her hands behind her back, looking up. Hmm. All right. Um, what is the strongest emotion associated with this object? Pride. Okay. Huh, it's Pride Month, too. <laughs> it's the best sin. No, that's last. Um, okay. Um, what was the object being used for uh, at the point of the strongest emotion? You see her walking amongst a couple what look like soldiers. You're, you don't recognize what kind of uniform they have. And she would stand and talk with them in Russian. And she kind of once again stand. Once again, you see her standing at parade rest and saluting, and doing things. I but don't other speak than that, Russian, do I? No, I don't. Fuck. Nope. And uh, other than that, you don't see anything. Okay. Huh. That does not belong to Cassius. That belongs to a woman. I think she's Russian. Dark hair. She's on one of the paintings. Uniform. Is she? Brandon? She is. Yes. The woman that you saw in the vision is in one of the paintings. She is wearing a bright red dress of, you know, heels. It's a uh, open sash dress, you know, V-line at the chest. Uh, something you'd see someone wear at a ball. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, very bright crimson dress with her hair... Uh, let down. A uh, very beautiful woman, actually. Extremely beautiful. Um, seems to be, uh, let's see, white, maybe 5'11", five, 5'12", five, um, 6'1", six six not sure. Um, very black eyes. Like, not fully black eyes, but just, you know, dark, maybe dark brown eyes. And uh, she is posed upon a chair, kind of in a sexy little Wait, wait, wait. And Cassandra's gonna push past <laughs> Caden and go to the painting. That one. Yes. That 
that belongs to her and Cassius has a portrait like how does mm, he's your butler how can he afford having portraits and things like that or do you think I don't pay him no that's not what I'm saying I'm saying that I don't know but this looks you see he still has arms his own arms you see can I take like pictures with my uh, helmet thing yeah mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of each of the paintings with it. I think I'm going to do that too. Okay, there's a picture of Cassius, there's a picture of a woman, and the third picture is a picture of a man that none of you seem to recognize. He is uh, bald. Um, the best way I could describe him is... Uh... Oh, fuck, what's his name? Mm. Why do I always forget his name? Mr. Ray. Mr. Mr. Darth, Mr. Mr. Darth Maul, the guy who played. Uh, the guy who played Darth Maul, actor. Oh, I don't remember who played Darth Maul. <laughs> um, Ray Park. He looks exactly like Ray Park. He's a bald Ray Park. Huh. We might need to run this one through facial. He is. Uh, he is dressed in a military uniform. Uh, it looks American. It's the standard digital camo that most uh, army wears, and he is kind of sit propped up with his knee up in a mil in what looks like a military photo, like you know someone would take before they come home or before they leave or something. This place does not make sense. Portraits, fake IDs and passports. Cassius has been that. with you continuously for 17 years, right? Well, actually, he has been with me since when I was born. He just had a more active role for the past 17 years, yes. Okay, so this was from before. Probably. Hasn't he aged a bit? Uh... Does it seem like he's any younger than he is right now? Uh, in the picture, he looks a tad bit younger, but not a whole lot. He did. Barely. Did. I would say in the picture, he looks like he's in his 20s. And last time you saw him, like in real life, he looked like a man in his mid to late 40s. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, so it does seem like he. Is. <sighs> I don't understand. We need to. We need to hack this computer. Uh, this all right. All right. Ruben, I'm gonna need some uh, air support here. What kind of air support? I need to get into this computer really well, so I'm gonna need your help. I do computer have some... Computer wall has... Computer at firewall level 5. You'll need at least 5 hits on a... On yeah, a either let, let, roll let me... Or, on, hold on, on either a single roll or an extended roll. Uh, let me roll to help him. Uh, I think that's to help you. Would cracking software help in this one? Yes. Mm. That will correct yourself. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Let me see what I can roll over here. Let's hope it doesn't suck. Ooh, I got five successes. <laughs> Do you even need my help? Through combined effort, uh, you managed to break into the computer. Uh, never mind, Ruben. Never mind. I guess I picked up a lot. All right, so right. as you go through, um, you see that there are several files on the computer. Other than that, the computer is actually mostly blank. However, 
there are several files on the computer. One appears to be a photo cache with some other info, and then the other appears to be ingoing and outgoing email collection. Uh, is there anything interesting in the photo cache? Well, when you open up the photo cache, there are a lot of different photos. These photos range from military poses to Cassius hanging out with a lot of squad uh, for Caden. Cassius did say he used to be SAS, and these photos prove it. You mm -hmm. see a lot of photos of Cassius standing with what looks like a squad. Uh, then it like kind of goes through his evolution in the SAS. And then there's some other squad photos that appear to be after the SAS, because when he takes a picture of them, uh, his squad mates are different, and they're wearing different uniforms. And then there's pictures of Africa, pictures of lions, pictures of, you know, what, what, you know, it, there's this whole photo cache of photos that, like, someone would take, maybe if they were a tourist or whatever in, in Africa. And he, um, eventually you see pictures of him and other people, and then you see pictures of him, uh, with this woman, um, the, the woman that he's uh, with in the pictures has short black hair, uh, very beautiful woman, brown eyes, looks somewhat similar to the girl in the photo, or to the girl in the portrait, but she is clearly a different person. Um, there are a lot of photos with him and this woman. Um, and it's just, you can tell that they probably were close. There's mm -hmm. pictures of them. There's just, like, a lot of different pictures of them together. Um, you know, a lot of the photos have, like, little details under it, like, you know, Mission 2, Africa setting, you know, second occupation, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, in one of those pictures, it shows her and him kissing, and it says, me and V forever. Hmm. Do you know this woman? I don't. Does it seem, by the way, that he lost any squad members through this picture? Yes. Yes. It looks like there were some casualties. Huh. One of them being the man in the portrait over to your left. He was in some of the earlier photos and in the, some of the later photos when the African occupation started. He is no longer in them. I guess there are many p things about Cassius that you don't know. It, it is a part of his life that, I guess, bring him brings him a lot of pain to think about. I don't really ask him too many questions because I don't want him to relieve these memories. But this woman, this V, we have to find her if we are to find him. We have him. to find Cassius first. It seems like he was living here or using this as a an HQ of sorts. Well, let's check the emails. <sighs> right. Most of the emails are corrupted, however, there are a few near the end that you can find and get recovered. Um, one of them is an email saying, it's, uh, it says, from V, doesn't say where. Hey, Kay, listen, um, it's happening again. We've got no choice. I know that this is a lot to ask of you, but please, we need to meet at that place and we need to get this sorted out. We can't let our friends and family get caught up in this again. Meet me at the place we first met. And then the other email says, Kay, I know this is hard, but you need to show up now. Do not tell anyone where you are going. Please help. We need to get this done. Um, and then it gives a set of numbers, which you eventually translate out into a code. Uh, you'll, you can translate that later, but I'll, I'll go ahead and just give you the code. It's just a bunch of numbers in binary. Um, Is it binary or coordinates? Yep. It's binary. Okay. It's, it's, it's basically binary in a message. Okay. And then to just to give another little Easter egg here. Um, it says, oh, and the new location is out of Ether's view. Out of Ether's view? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, 
I believe it might be something related to what the ancient Greeks believed, maybe. <sighs> probably somewhere underground. Mm, probably. And the place they first met. How the fuck are we gonna figure that out? Are we going to have to travel to Africa? There is a uh, there is another email. A couple more emails, actually. Um, another one says it's this one's a little bit earlier. This is one of the only cor non corrupted ones from the earlier files that you can seem to read. Um, it says, "Hey K, I'm back in the city. We'll definitely meet up at our favorite place. Uh, do you remember what the place was?" And then Cassius replies back. Yeah, it's uh, Barbados down there on uh, 6th and E. Appears to be an Italian place. Mm. There is, and then, then there is one more email that says, um, Hey K, uh, this is V here. My sister is back. Why don't you lay low with Caden for a while until this uh, blows over? This email was about three months ago. No, not three months ago, like six months ago. Sorry, six months. Basically, it would be at the start of the campaign that this email happened. That is a bit strange. Wait, could that woman from the border be the sister? They look kind of alike. You do notice Maybe. that the woman uh, who's now you know as V and the woman in the portrait do look very similar. Like, th there are differences. Um, but it's like they they could definitely easily be related. Hmm. I'm going to save a picture of V and I'm going to send the binary code to Ruben and tell him to solve it. Okay. Uh, Can I upload the emails and the pictures to like something that I have I don't know if the armor has like its own computer thing, but something like that. Wait, you have Maybe a... a pit boy. You have a pit boy, yeah. don't you? <laughs> yeah, the armor basically does have a little pit boy. <laughs> okay. Can I upload it to that? Yes. I then, think I know where our date is going to happen now. Well, keep in mind, these emails were a few days old. Yeah. The most recent email you got was still two or three days ago. Hey now, our date is supposed to be about us, not about work. This is work. So we have to go and work it out. And Ruben, you heard nothing. Uh, Ruben, you can roll intelligence computers if you want to solve this. Out of curiosity, did I also see the pictures? Um, no one has sent them to you yet, so. Uh, if she is connected to the to Ruben and to the grid, she probably saw them though. Well, Ruben hasn't seen the pictures yet. Oh, he hasn't? Ruben's been, de Ruben's been dealing with the drones. He's been oh, looking yeah. around, making sure you guys are okay. Yeah. You two are the only ones that have seen the pictures and read the emails. Okay. So until you guys actually send those out or show anyone, no, only you guys have seen them. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the old passports and IDs and see if anything sticks out. Um... It's pretty standard what you'd see in maybe like a spy movie, you know, there's all the passports and identifications and even some different social security cards. Um, there is a, uh, I guess the only thing that stands out is there's two Russian ones that are both his and under different names, but other than that there's nothing that seems to be out of the ordinary about them. It's just the fact that he has two Russian mm -hmm. runs rather than just one. I won't lie, this is pretty impressive. Look at all those. I'm going to take pictures of all the passports and stuff and keep uploading to my cloud or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Why is it impressive who worked on intelligence? Well, I didn't exactly know that, 100%, but now I guess it is confirmed, so... Yeah, I guess we will have to go to that restaurant and see if there's anything... Yes, there. but I don't think I have to go like this. That is correct, and... Um, Unless, of course, we go okay. after the close. What would be the use of that? We probably should ask like people who work there if they saw the two. If they have any idea where they went. Ooh, maybe Valentine could do that. While maybe. you guys are talking, could you like show us the picture? Because <laughs> I'm kind of curious now. I'm going to send three pictures actually. One is the, well, four. One is the picture of Cassius in the painting, the other is the woman and the bald guy too. And I'm going to send a picture of Cassius kissing, who seems to be like the sister of the person in the painting. And she did mention a sister in the email. So, yeah, I think it would be best if Valentine would go to the restaurant and ask around, because... So, do you, do you show the pictures to Flynn and Valentine? Yeah. Not all of them, just the most important Okay. One. Valentine! Yep. You don't recognize the woman in the portrait, but you do recognize the woman that uh, is with all the photos of Cassius. Is that... That's V. You just hear over Mike, Vetlana? Vetlana. What? Um. Uh, uh, no, nothing, nothing. No, go on, mm -hmm. say it. It's going to be important. I. I know her. You do? We need to find her. Yeah, I I do too. Okay, I think we need to return there because huh, that is strange. I'm going to take the pendant by the way. I think that's a bad idea. I don't yeah. It's not his. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this, none of this belongs to anyone. Uh, it's like we kept it secret. It might just be an indication that I was here. Maybe he'll be more willing to come talk to me after this. Or maybe we should just put everything back in their place so that they won't think that their privacy was violated and go insane and paranoid. If they know it was me, why would they be concerned? How would they know it was you? I'll give them a note. You're painting a target on your back. Because if they have enemies and they find this, they find you. As if I didn't have any of this before. Kaden! Seriously! I am being serious here. At least this is one more way to guarantee that we're going to find him. Mm -hmm. Or we could just leave a tracking device in here. Or, Thank or, you so or what? So it's not going to move. No, I mean like surveillance kind. On the computer? Hmm. I guess it's possible. But still... Fine. Uh... 
what would I need to roll to play surveillance equipment uh, to hide surveillance? Uh, you know what I mean? Um, like a micro camera or something. Roll me with stealth. Okay. I'm going to try to discreetly just write uh, my name in kanji somewhere on the wall. <laughs> Hidden from Cassandra. Okay, I roll me a one deck. success. Okay, so Cassandra, you just you kinda of think you find a decent area for it. Uh, Cassandra, roll me Wits Composure, Caden, roll me Dex Uh what's the Wits Composure for? To see if you notice him doing that. <laughs> Oh no. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you see him doing that. Kaden, really? I'm not going to argue with you about this. We're supposed to do the stealthy thing. Cassius will know that it was me. Yeah, but if it's not Cassius coming here... No one will know. I find it difficult fine, to believe fine, that fine. anyone will even be able to read Japanese. The Alex will wake up and get the headphones of Ruben, mm -hmm. and she's gonna be like, she's gonna like do this. Yo, what's going on? I'm bored. We're 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 about to get back. Okay. Yeah, give us information. We're sitting in our cock in our ass. What's going on? Okay, uh... One second. So, are we good with, uh, Valentine asking for them at the restaurant? Then we, they could go and we could catch up to them. Uh, Valentine, it's at this point that you can see some, one of the security guards come walking up to the car. Oh, the car is on the rooftop, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Um... Okay, then he'll phone in a radio. Um, Valentine, you get a phone call. Yep. Hello. Uh, is this Officer Justice badge number 5182? Yes. Uh, one of the uh, security at dock 7 down over there on the pier at 6 and 4... Uh, security guard 1257 is saying that uh, you're parked on the roof there. He's getting a little bit antsy. What are you guys doing there? I was staking out a... I saw something weird going on. I'll tell him it's fine. I was staking at something. Staking out an area. I was making sure uh, some drug deals weren't going on around here. Right, 10-4. We'll let him know. He hangs up. I'm gonna get on the mic and say, Gotta get out of there, the guards are getting antsy. Ah, uh, okay. C can you go, I'll send you an address for a restaurant. Can you go there and ask about the cashews and V? Can we, you, you can ask her that later. We need to get yeah, out of yeah, here Yeah, we need first. to go. Just, uh, I'm gonna relock the locks. Okay, you relock them. Everything looks kind of like it is as you left it. Or as you found it. Okay. Let's go. You make your way back through the long kind of docks and mazes of the shipping containers. Uh, I'll go ahead and just use your previous stealth rolls. You guys managed to get over the fence in the area where you did before. And you managed to make it back to the car. Uh, by the way, I got three successes on the uh, decoding thingy. For uh, it gives thingy. you... It says, um, San Francisco Cemetery. That's where the huh. stash is. And that's all it says. Okay. When, uh, they both come back. So, the thing you sent, it mm -hmm. says something about a stash in San Francisco Cemetery. And then it says, um, unmarked grave. 
you guys want to go there or do we want to go in the diner place? I think we should split. Let's do the stash. Let's get the money. Stash seems like it's money. It's not. It's probably not going to be money. Sorry to disappoint. I can give you money if that's what you're so interested in. What it's going to be then? I don't know, but probably not money. Why? Because it doesn't seem like that's what they were doing. It's probably some so more IDs. Before we go, you guys need to start explaining what the fuck is going on. So before we make decisions, actually. Um. Yeah, it's not a hundred percent clear yet. Okay, that's not an explanation. What you guys found? Uh... There is an explanation. My Pardon? friend who used to work in intelligence is now is apparently still working with intelligence. But in secret, that's about it. So is that who this Lana is? One of them secret agent? I, I don't know. I, mean. I know that there are portraits in there of that chick that looks like this V, and then there's this V, and they would they would meet at a restaurant where they liked going, and I, I think that's the best place to start. But I think Valentine can do that because he's a cop, or I could do that because I'm a PI. Uh, so I think we should split up. Uh, I wish this is one of those times I wish I learned this one spell that lets me siphon data from a computer or a electronic device. But alas, I was too lazy to learn it. Yes, yes, let's remain on point. What are we doing? Valentine? Um, I guess let's go up that restaurant this is not an official police business though so don't uh, try to use your badge or anything well either way if we go in to ask questions we have to flash a badge mm -hmm. mm. so Cassandra and Valentine are going to the restaurant everyone else is going to the graveyard uh, I have a question. Is this cemetery okay. the place where Caden's parents were buried, or were they buried yes. somewhere else? No, they were buried there. Uh, it's kind of on the outskirts of San Francisco, but it's a really beautiful cemetery, and it remains a little bit untouched by time. That's why a lot of people still use it. The wealthy are buried there. Deep. Ben, where is the cemetery? Uh, it's just so, toward the eastern part of San Francisco, just outside San Francisco. That's what Alice asks in character, don't get me wrong. Okay. Um, apologies if it sounded like an asshole. <laughs> it's got to be yeah, go ahead. Alex is like, where is the cemetery? Which cemetery is this? It's the San Francisco Cemetery. It's pretty, almost out of town, actually. It's now it's the uh, Richie Rich, where the Richie Rich usually gets, you know... Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a stash there. Yeah, let's go find it. Um, it's I'm not going to be pay that someone easy. to visit in the, in the meantime. Okay. So Cassandra and Valentine are going to the restaurant. Who is going to the stash? Me. I am. Okay. So oh, you three. The graveyard might as well help out. Look for a unmarked stone. Would be faster with drones. Okay. Okay, so three people are going to the graveyard, two people are going to the restaurant. So let's do the restaurant first. Okay. On the way to the restaurant, um, actually, out of character, since we haven't actually discussed this, have I even, so I haven't even seen Svetlana since that night, right? Yep. And uh, actually, one thing, let's actually do the graveyard first, just because William doesn't have as much time. But let's do graveyard um, first. Today is Saturday. I can wait for you as much as you want. You don't You're okay? Okay, so fine. Oh. We'll do restaurant. Keep going, Valentine. 
So I haven't, but I've talked to her like over text, right? Yes. Um. So I'm gonna in secret. I'm gonna text her. We've got to talk. There is no reply. Of course. So, you said you know her? Yes. Um. It's complicated? Uh, yeah. But from where? She's, uh... Remember when I mentioned I had the detective friend? Yeah? Yeah, that's her. What? Really? For, for real? Yep. Oh, that's... You know... I really... If... <laughs> and she's friends with Cassius? Apparently. Do you know since when? Silence. You know um, that there were missing things from the case files, from the evidence lockers. Out of character, did I know that? Yes. Uh, what was it specifically? I would tell you, but something uh, out of character. I would tell you, but I lost my notes accidentally. So I, I know that the gun was removed because Jacobs had it, and some other things were missing from the. Right. V actually told you about that Valentine. That some of the things were missing, and she couldn't get them all. All right. So. Yeah, I know. She actually, um, she actually told me about that. Yeah, you don't think that they might have been involved with that, right? Probably. Don't ah, you so find so. that weird? Uh, yes and no. We've we've run, we've been doing um, off the book shit for a while, so it. Look, I'm really, really confused here because Kasha seems to know things that. He shouldn't know, maybe? Or things that he can't talk about, but he does know. And that's... I find this really, really strange. Are you doing okay about it? Or, like, are you okay with this? No, I'm not okay with this. How would I be okay with this? He knows mm. what I am. Yet he won't tell me. And nobody can tell me what the fuck is going on with me. No, I'm not okay. Nope. That's... Ah, shit, I've been getting a lot of that lately. You're acting very weird, you know that? I know. Yeah, what's up with that? We're good friends, right? I would want to think so. Is Vetlana was one of the three people there where nobody else was when I had my accident and I was going through recovery. And that is not 
not bode well. Do go on. Hi. And we're gonna pull off the side for a second, like off the road for a second, and she's gonna look at you super serious. Alright. I'm gonna give you something just for this once. And only because it's kind of killing me, but also if you tell anybody, I'll have to kill you. And then too. You're worrying me, you know. <sighs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna write how to ungridlock me from that uh, binding thing. Okay. I'm gonna write down this that that set of codes. I'm gonna write it down, and I'm gonna hand you the the piece of paper. <laughs> what the hell is that? Say it. Say all of those in order. Uh, wh wh where do I see them? <laughs> I, I handed it to you on a piece of paper. I just jotted down. And the first word is like, what actually is my protocol word? Oh, well, I'll I'll say it since. So. Yeah. Cassandra, do you repeat what's on the paper? Uh, sure. Keyword, leg it. Thresh protocol, phase one, engage. Erase all previous thresh protocols. The now, second you say the first word, you see Valentine freeze up, like she locks up. Ooh. I I'm gonna poke her and, and shake her. Nope, not moving. <laughs> What the fuck? Then when you actually finish... Uh, actually, would that have un... So that would have, like, unlocked yeah, me, right? It, yep, now you're unlocked. Now you can speak about what you talked about that night. Oh my gosh, that sucks so much! What did they do to you? I don't... I, uh, I, I can tell you now. Oh my gosh, I've been having a... I couldn't tell you for the longest time. Okay, so yes, Cassius yeah, is what Lana knew, before. and I knew... knew oh my knew god. Knew what? You knew what? I knew that they knew each other. I knew uh, I knew Cassius was like a spy. I Oh my gosh, it feels so good that I finally talk about it. I've been watching you suffer in silence. <laughs> well, I know Cassius was a spy. You saw what we found in there. Yes, but I also knew that he knows about all this shit, and... I knew that as well, because he let it sleep, but then left, and... But I knew before you knew, that was the problem. Questions. Yeah, but you don't know... no, you know? I know that he was in Africa, I hold know on, that on. he was... Can we, can we, we need to pause the game for a second. Let's hear that quote again. <laughs> I... No, you know, don't know what the. Oof. That's, I that's know, going in the book. But you don't keep, keep know, going. no. Keep going. I know, like. I know that we're, you know. Okay, to be fair, we're pretty much on the same page at this point, but I knew, like, way longer, and I couldn't physically talk about it. Yes. And I know that. Same I know that Cassius. For Cassius. I know that he's talk. in league. I know he was in league with him, and I'm pretty sure if he's just like, are you saying he couldn't talk about it? Yes. That's oh, what I'm he's saying. like me then. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess he's being mind controlled, but like programmed, so that's you're being the thing, mind probably. controlled. Oh yeah. Probably all of us are really, but probably only me since I'm like. I told you that I felt like a robot, with no free will. There's no way to reset this? Or deprogram you? Uh... There's no way to not program me. That keyword I gave you is literally basically, if you tell me that, I'm fucked. Wait, what? Wh yeah! What what exactly does this do? Everything. I cannot resist it. I just... You can tell... You could brainwash me if you wanted to. I probably shouldn't say that. 
Why the fuck would I want to do that? And why the fuck did you give this to me? Because I couldn't tell you. I was tired of, like, I knew so much. Could I was you just so write in the it fucking down? Loop. For fuck's no! Sake. She literally said when she programmed me. Because we had this discussion. She's like, all right. I will make it so you can never talk about this or hint about it in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, but obviously there was a way. Yeah, I had to give you the code. And you had to unlock that. That is a lot to unpack. You tell- you're telling me? There's a lot of shit going on. And there's- and I'm not even telling you the full story about, like, how the real world works. Who's really in control. Probably Which, the I mean, vampires. Yeah, yeah, okay, does it take the- yeah, that was my response, too. It's like, well, well yeah, no yeah, shit. yeah, I've seen it. Wait, yeah, now they... that it- now it makes more sense, all those red strands. Wait, is everyone in the city bloodbound? Probably. I mean, vampires basically control everything. But... Would that be an oh. accurate enough assumption to resolve my obsession? Yes. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <coughs> On to the next one. Uh. Yeah. So, I yes. <laughs> Cassius is a spy working working for some shady organization that I didn't pry into because him and Svetlana... I didn't want to lose Svetlana as a friend, but I also haven't seen her in a while. She's been only vaguely telling, giving me a text back. But also, the fact that I've told you apparently is also enough to get you killed. So, here we are. Have they been using Caden? Using Caden? I don't know. He's been his butler all his life. I mean... He... Fuck, if Caden... If, I mean, if his butler's a part of this world... Hopefully not? That's not very reassuring. It... Nothing is assured. I mean, I mean, for Christ's sakes, everybody I know is secretly a spy. There's more. The deal with Caden, it's not over. We found more. What's more? <sighs> we went to the crime scene. You know, after we left, when you were at the psych ward, after we left... Yeah? We went to the crime scene where... where his parents were killed. And there was oh. a vision there, and there was a shadow that we don't know who it is, but there was a shadow, and the shadow shot him. He was shot as well. That's why we need to find Cassius, because he was there, he would know, he should know. <sighs> Alright, I guess let's go knock on some doors. Hmm. I hate all this secrecy. I fucking do too. Well, see, in secret, seriously, never tell anybody that passcode. Like, Where ever. would they even do that? I don't know. <sighs> like, I don't even think, honestly... As a matter of fact, just burn the paper. Oh, done and done. Rips it up. I don't up. need it. It's in here. I was gonna point to her head. Ah. <sighs> so I hypothetically killed us both, but that's okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're- I'm pretty sure you're already past the threshold of that they care, though. I mean... You're like magic and stuff now. We're both magic and stuff now. How are we magic and stuff? I have no fucking clue what I am or what I can do or what I can do. You're endure. some form of vampire thing, and I apparently 
have a silver allergy now because oh by the way did I tell you that fucker Riker? Who? Who that... oh the, the, the fur coat guy? Yeah. Okay, two things. A motherfucker's a werewolf and B he kinda made me like a half werewolf now and I'm fucking pissed. Oh. So I guess we're I... in the same boat? Yes, we're both in equal shades, except I can be probably mind controlled, so I'm like double fucked. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, let's, because if we keep talking and more things come out, I don't know if my fragile mental state can remain where it is. I'm you gonna get have used a breakdown. To it. You totally fucking get used to it. I've been trying, but the... mm, it has been a trying past few weeks. Very, very trying. I am in that same boat. You didn't get turned into half the thing you were most terrified of. No, I only turned into half a thing that I have no idea what it is. Thanks, Section 9. I don't even know if that was related. Oh, it absolutely is. I'm not even sure. Because they don't know how I came to be. I mean, I know Section 9 is turning us all into things. How would they be able to turn me into something that, by their own admission, is rare and they don't even know how it works? Uh, I don't know, they probably, fa they probably tried on a lot of people, honestly. I mean, you saw that weird laboratory down there that we hit. Anyways. That wasn't Section 9. No, but they knew about it. So I'm gonna we're gonna pull up to the restaurant. Yeah. All right. So how are we hitting this? Well, you want a flush badge or should I? You both could. Yeah. Let's go. And on that note, I think we should let uh, team the B team have their shine for a moment, yep. and then we'll come back to us. Mm -hmm. So going back to the restaurant, I mean, not the restaurant, the graveyard, uh, Alex, Lucas, and uh, Flynn, mm -hmm. you go up to the, uh... it's creepy looking, but still charming. Um, there's quite a bit of graves out here. It's um, after the uh, African occupation, there was quite a bit more graves put here, but um. You start walking through the gate, since it's open. It's an open graveyard 24-7. And eventually you get to the mausoleum, where it gives the unmarked. It's actually a ma little mausoleum. There's actually no unmarked grave. And it's the only mausoleum in the entire graveyard that is not marked. Should we have brought a shovel? We should have. So what who's running for it? No. Sorry, what? So who's running for it? I mean, who's running for a shell? I'm not. I'm not running for a shell. Uh, you don't need Pardon? We don't need that. What do we need? We need to find the place first. Well, remember, it's, mean, it's, it's, you guys know what a mausoleum is. Do you guys know what a little crypt holder is? It's where coffins are usually held rather than buried. It's in a little oh. stone, like stone kind of almost outhouse looking thing. It's like the mm -hmm. stone, little stone box houses, little single rooms. Okay then, let's go. So yeah. how do we find a spot then? We literally just walked there. 
as it's written over here, it's on this section. The door is, of course, locked. Of course. Well, any of you know how to do the lockpicky thingy? No, I don't know how to do a lockpicky thingy, but I know how to open, you know, door in a very loud way. Oh, great. Mm. So, Pseudo Batman, do you know how to open the, the door? I can try, but it's not one of my specialties. Well, let's go, let's begin. We don't have all day. You know what? Why don't you check? Oh, you know, I'll just do it myself. I am going to uh, go back to uh, the place where we went, and I'm going to use luck magic on myself, and hopefully uh, I'll use the first dot, which is just basically I uh, get lucky for uh, a thing, and hopefully I find the key. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see what kind of luck that can bring. Where the hell is the book? Uh, can I go to the <coughs> to my parents' graves now? So in the open time. Yeah. Why, like you're leaving, Alex? And where are you going? You don't need to know. No, I need to know. We are in a mission. Where are you going? The... I'm going to pay my respects to someone. Does it need to happen now? While Ruben is doing his thing, I guess I can kill some time. Yes, you can kill some time by watching our back. If you split the party, that's bad. I'm going there afterwards. Huh? I'm going there once we're done then. Yeah. Great, good. Come on, Ruben, let's do the thing. Well, okay. I'm literally gonna go back and walk to the place where we found the uh, book that told us where the mausoleum, mausoleum is, and I'm going to put favorable fortune on Alex, and I'll tell her, why don't you help me find the keys? I bet you it's here somewhere. Alex. And fortunate pa favor thing is I'm going to put on her is hopefully she finds the keys. <laughs> I'll uh, copy and paste what it does. No, uh, it's fine. Uh, Alex is going to use Mirror's Wisdom. Uh, Brandon, it says once per chapter, the player bees can request information from this territory that sheds light into a problem at hand. Where is the keys? That's what I want to know. And uh, my fortune thingy says... Oh fuck, I lost the page. This might mean they win no more than $25 on the lottery ticket, get to work without get hitting red lights or similar blessings. Do you think that would uh, get us keys? Uh, would not get you keys, but you can Damn use it. the luck. Uh, go for Mirror's Wisdom again here, uh, Alex, what did you say? It's basically uh, Mirror's Wisdom, once per chapter, the beast, beast player can request information from Mrs. Terror Teller that sheds light on a problem at hand. Information is impersonal, that is never identifies a specific person. However, it can be it can be questions like, where is the murder weapon hidden? Or, what leverage works best on this person? My question is, where is the key? Kind of a waste of Mimir's wisdom, but the key is located all the way at the uh, warden's uh, house or shack, uh, the warden of the, uh, the the gravesite or the, the graveyard, all the way over there. A Alex is a quite an you know dummy. Uh, all the way over there? You mean like miles, miles away? No, like maybe ten minute walk. Okay. Uh, it's the key is in ten minutes away. Really? 
are we breaking in? So how badly do you want to get in that mausoleum? Because we can just literally break in the mausoleum, or do we want to go, you know, borrow a key? Exactly. What do we do? Let's go take the keys. It's safer that way. I think the, the, it's in the warden's office, so it may be not so safe. If so it's safer to just break it. Pardon? Is it safer to just break it then? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I mean... I'll just I go there and take it. I can be stealthy. Mate, can you like pick lock it? Like you said, you can do this, but you're not that good at it. Let's just try to pick lock it. I, I just said I can try. I never said I can do it. Yeah, but then please try. What would I have to roll to do that? Roll to do what? Dex Larceny. Oh, which Larceny? But it's the up to Dex. Dex. Yeah, I'll say Dex Larceny. Can I risk a willpower or spend one from this? Please. Sure. Okay. Don't forget to add the nines again. Oh yeah. Three successes. Okay, you managed to get in. Okay, that was a bit of a waste of time. Well, that was easy, you could have just done that. Oh, I didn't know I could do it. Hey, okay. Hey, we'll more action, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Guess we go down the mausoleum. Er, you, enter, you enter into the mausoleum, and there appear to be two coffins, one on the left, one on the right, inside this area. What this is the name? Is it unmarked? No names on the coffins? No names on either of the coffins. Does it look like it can be opened without breaking it? Uh, yeah. Okay then. Guess I'll try to open one of them. Yeah. I mean, Alex I just will help. To open the other. Alex will help whoever looks less strong. Hey, you open oh, each of them up. That would be Ruben. <laughs> yeah, you open each of them up. Um, each one appears to be filled with duffel bags with credit sticks. In total, there's about maybe $50,000 here. Um, um, and then and then there is uh, some basic handguns. And it looks like there was a box or something that fit into a con it, it, that fit into each one. And the box has been taken out of each one. Alex immediately mm. takes the credits and like, yeah, finders, keepers. <laughs> like she puts on the bag onto her shoulders. Can you put those back? Why? Because they are not yours. So what? So what that it belongs to someone else who might need it in the future. Yes, I I'm can feeling give it. you the double of that if you are so interested in money. Just put it back inside. Dude, like... You're trespassing. So what? If we take things, it can... It, it's not as subtle. <sighs> you owe me double of this money. She puts it back. Is there any trace of what was inside the box? Um, no, it's... There, there may have been an object or something in there. 
Uh, there could have been, um, it almost looks like maybe some sort of vial or some sort of glass container, but that's all you're really getting from it. Can I get any fingerprints from anywhere there that isn't from Ruben or Alex? Um, let me check my notes here. Nope, you do not get any fingerprints. What are the chances, though, that it'll go back here to pick up the rest of this shit? It's not... It is a relatively high amount of money. They wouldn't just leave it down here. Maybe we can put a tracker in it. Exactly what I was thinking. He pulls out some uh, devices out of his, uh, what do you call it, bag. Alex seems to be counting the money to make sure how much she is going to get from, uh, you know, Caden. Caden. How much you said, uh, Brandon? There was about 50,000 credit. Fifty. Okay. That is like five zero, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's hundred thousand credit counts in resources? Uh, that'll be probably two dots. Yeah, that's about two freebie dots, like in terms of resources that you can spend without draining your actual pool. Thank you. So, 100 means four. No, that would no. be two. Ah, okay. No, okay, 100 okay. is two. Okay, okay, thank you. Ruben is going to try and discreetly put um, motion sensors and tracking devices. Hopefully, in the thingy. What would you like me to roll for that? Uh, wits larceny. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> Aiden, what's your wit larceny? Oh, mine is zero. That's why I was so unsure about it. Oh, if fuck my life. I, I, I think this is stealth, actually, not larceny, if you're trying to sneak things. In. Mm. Mm. Oh, fuck it. I'll just go wits because I got no larceny. Why would you need larceny? Because Brandon said to roll larceny and wits. Spend a willpower or race kit, I guess. I really don't want to waste the willpower. I ah, fuck. Got, uh, you, you don't w w waste it, like. What's the chance of you failing? How high is your, uh... Wits, Aiden? Uh, seriously, that should have be, That should be stealth, not larceny. I don't think you have points in either anyway, so... <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna fucking buff myself. Wait, no, I can't buff myself. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, okay. How many dots does willpower give? Three. 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 Yeah. You said the nines again? Yes, we're gonna wrap this up here in a sec. Go ahead and do that. Okay. It's going on a little too long. Well, it wouldn't take so long if you wasn't hiding fucking cashews in a fucking box somewhere. Wow. I fucked that up really badly. All right. All right. <laughs> so as, you, as, you, as, as you guys leave, we'll go to the restaurant and then we'll end the scene tonight. Okay. So you guys are currently in the restaurant. And it's a very nice Italian place kind of on Up Street. There's a lot of cyber stuff going all over the place. Like this is, this is main town. So there's 
it screams Cyberpunk 2077 here. But this Italian place, kind of out of place. Looks old and classy. I was muted. Sorry. Shit, what do we even ask them? Like, hey, have you seen if these two vague descriptions? Them and we have pictures. I mean... Do you, do you think I'm an amateur? Do you, would they even remember just two random people? Why wouldn't they? Because they see thousands of faces every day. Thousands is a stretch. It's not a fast food joint. I mean, looks fairly high class. Like high class. Like, trust me, in this place they will remember. All right. Let's go. Proceed on into the restaurant. It's a bright, vibrant Italian style kind of motif restaurant. There is an older man at the door sitting to like see people and whatnot. He's wearing a kind of a very fancy bellhop uniform. And he says, "Oh, oh, uh, good evening, officer. How can I help you?" Uh, I'm Officer Jeff. I'm Officer Justice. This is Detective Cassandra. We're here just you. asking questions. Uh, of course. Uh, what questions do you wish to ask? Uh, it's about uh, some missing persons. If you have, uh, we had reports that they were seen in your establishment a few days ago. Uh, could you take a look at these pictures for me, please? And she will show the pictures of Cassius and V. He looks down. He's like, "Oh, yeah, uh, the the couple. Yeah, they're regulars here. They come here a lot." Do you remember when you last saw them? Uh, yeah, a couple days ago, in fact. Uh, they seemed a bit stressed. They, they, they usually use the back room that we usually reserve for parties, but they like to have some private time, so, you know, we just give them that back room. Uh, so they don't have to hear all the noise and complaining of a lot of the customers out here. Is that room occupied at the moment? Uh, no, there's no one back there at the moment. Uh... Could we take a look? Maybe they have dropped something, or there's something that we could use, maybe... Anything, really. Do you have a warrant? Uh, this is not a criminal investigation. This is just a missing persons. We just need any lead at this point. We can Only enter in a... Roll me a wits persuasion. All right. I'll toss in the two cents. If you if you think you disturb the customers, we could come in from the from the back. Uh, can I can I risk willpower here? Yep, this is the first time you've risked willpower, so yeah, you can go ahead and risk willpower. Uh, did I touch any of you all today? <laughs> nope. God damn it. Oh, wait. Uh, for, uh, forgot the fucking nine seconds. Eh. Well, I probably did touch someone, but he's not there at the moment, so. Wouldn't be fair. Ooh, wee! Whoa, nice. Very good. Um, <laughs> he, he nods and he, he leads you both back to the, to the room. There's a little, nice little private area, typically like, you know, how when you go to a restaurant, you'll see like a side room that's kind of soundproof, sealed off for like parties and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like one of those. And he's like, they always sit at that table over in the back corner. I have one more question for you. Uh, since the last time they used this table, did anyone else use it? I know it's strange, but... Uh, no. No one's used this room since then. That will be all, I think. We won't take much of your time, I promise. Of course, thank you. It's no worries, really. Um, you know what I want to do. 
So you're going to use memory or investigation? Okay. I'm going to uh, pull all the tricks I can here, really. All right, so Valentine, make me either a wits composure or wits investigation. And then Cassandra, go ahead and make your rolls. I will do an, a, a plain investigation, too. Uh, a mundane one, without any extras. Mm. Just to see if I find anything. Don't forget you have nine against in searching. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, I didn't use it before. Fuck. Anyway, so, yeah, let's say. Uh, oof! Is this a uh, perception base? <laughs> I, I, yes. I get seven successes. Yay! <laughs> Wait, I didn't add composure. Oh, let me re roll that again. Yeah, I didn't add the. Com That's stupid. Now. Yay! Damn, I'm such a fucking Sherlock! <laughs> so, in total, between two of you, that is eight, nine, ten successes. You search this place top to bottom, you do this very professionally. This place looks like it was fairly well cleaned and fairly well kept, and hardly ever used. The table that they sat at has several things on it, though. Mm -hmm. You find a small drop of what looks to be dried blood under the table. On one of the legs. You also I find. Will collect it. Mm -hmm. You also find over in the corner, almost tucked under the rug, you find a shell casing for a very small caliber weapon. Maybe a 22, it looks like. Hey. Would I have known of what, um, what, what gun Svetlana typically used? Not that. Alright. <laughs> You also notice that there appears to be a slightly, uh, an area over on the side which appears to have been cleaned recently, because when, whenever you have a carpet and you clean an area and just that one area and not the whole carpet, you can tell. That's something you see. You find a little bit of powder on the ground, it looks like salt. And you also find, tucked away, way in the back, under a chair leg. Mm -hmm. a invitation, an invitation to a masquerade ball that will be happening in about a week or so. It is being held at the San Francisco Gardens at the Royal... Uh, Buckskin Manor. Are there so, names on the invitation? There are no names on the invitation. It is a generalized invitation for you and two others. So, you know, after we gather all this, so there's blood, a bullet casing, an invitation. We don't know if it's blood. I didn't bring my luminol, but yeah, it's a good deduction. <laughs> so. I, I need to do something. Can you keep watch for me for a second? Oh yeah, no one's coming around yet. Just to be sure. Totally someone got murdered and there's a vampire party. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna roll for... I'm gonna sit on the table. I'm going to place my hands on the table, and I'm going to roll for Spirit's Touch. Okay. And I get two successes. So I have two questions. Uh, huh. Who was last sitting on the table? I guess I know already, so I wouldn't ask um. him that. Unless, actually, no, I will ask that because the guy could be lying. So, yeah, who was sitting okay. at the table? Um, Cassius, you see a cross. Everything's a little bit blurry. Mm -hmm. You see a woman, looks like V. Yeah, that's V, mm -hmm. sitting next to him. 
And then the woman that you saw from the painting sitting across from them. Mm -hmm. The sister. Mm -hmm. And what emotion do I get from them, from, from the scene? Like, what... The, uh, Cassius and Veslana, mm -hmm. you feel a dreading urge of fear. From the woman across from them, you see a crown above her head shining, and that's the only indication you get. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure they're in danger. You see, like, a look of dread wash over Valentine's face. The bullet casing, can you do that with the bullet casing? I can try. Let me do another roll. Good thing that this doesn't have a cost. <laughs> Aspects is great. Aspects is great. Again, two successes. Who touched this last? The woman in red. Mm. The sister. Mm. That's not good. That's not the person I wanted to get shot. Um, is there a way wait, to figure out who would start? Wait. Oh shit. Uh, no, I can't do that. I can. Mm, no, what is the? Uh, object being used for, uh, uh, well, what emotion was associated with it when it was last used, this item? Inconclusive. Uh, you're getting a mixture of fear, pain, pride, all sorts of swelled up into a whirling tornado that kind of hits you. <sighs> ah, shit, I Doing that. Uh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Who who shot the gun? Well, if the person who shot the gun is the person who touched this casing, then it was not Cassius and it was not V. It was the woman from the from the portrait. Fuck. Her sister. Wait a minute. Can you do it to the envelope? The invitation? Yes. I can. Uh, by the way, uh, what were the names of the invitations again? There are None. no names on the no invitations. Names. It's, okay. just a, it's just a free-for-all. Okay. For whatever reason, your item touch does not work on this one. Keep in mind, there's a, no, there's a limited number I allow in each scene of that power to be used, and you've already used it twice. Uh, can I spend blood or willpower? <laughs> I'll say, um, you can spend a blood to use it again. Oof. Fine. Right. Mm. You look like you're training there. I'm never gonna get rid of the blood. Mm. What's your, what's your what's your pool at? Right now at three. After oh spending boy. that one. Wait a minute! No, you went back three. up to full. How are you at three? When did I go up to full? When he gave you that thing and you took it in uh, just before you met Lance. Yes, and guess what? I spent blood when I was during the fight. You spent five blood. No. I, my pool is seven. So you spent four blood. I spent three blood and one today. Damn, okay. But I got three successes. So there's okay. that. <laughs> you're, you're getting thirsty. I know. So who... Who sent the invitation? Who touched it last? Like, you need to be more specific with the question. Who 
owned it last, not who touched it. Although, who touched it would also be a good question. That's Solana. As she seems to be putting it under the chair leg. Yeah, but did she own it? Yes. Hmm. What emotion is associated with this item? Fear. Okay, and what else, what else, what else can I ask about this? Is there anything else emotionally... Uh, emotional... Uh, English today. Emotional or mental link that, I, that, that this item would give off to me. Like anything. You see a picture of a rock falling in a garden. There is a big mansion off to the right. The rock tumbles down and tumbles down. And it's about the size of your fist. And as it bounces off a rock, it smashes right onto a lizard and cracks its head. Fuck, that's cryptic. Um, can I get an omen? Uh, for that... Mm. You're already having one omen right now that already just happened, so I'll say this one no. I did? Yeah, it depends on where you act. This would give you an omen, but it depends on where you go from here, and I will let you know in the story when that happens. But it depends on what you do from here. So this could give you an omen in the future, it could not. We will see. Mm -hmm. When is it just a blood? Blood. So it's information on that envelope. V, V had it, put it down there, and she was afraid. And I get some random image of some rock falling on a lizard or something. What, what the fuck does this mean? You look like you were stressing there. I don't think we can push it any further, can we? Better not. I don't want to break my brain. You only have, and not only that, you only have one shot of the serum per week, and you haven't used yours this week yet, but depends on if Miss Fletcher wants to use it this week or not. No, Miss Fletcher wants to call her brother and drink his blood, actually, but anyway. Alright, well, that'll you. work. Um, <laughs> that'll work. Alright. So, fuck. So we have a vague picture of they met. Lady in Red was obviously bad, seemed to have some sort of influence. Cassius and Svetlana were scared. Um, the gunshot was... Oh, well, okay, that we really didn't get a lot from the gun, except that she owned it, probably. We have and to test the blood. Yes. Right. And just a moment. And... As whatever all... happened, Svetlana put the envelope there for whatever reason she felt like it needed to be under a fucking restaurant. Well, As, whatever uh... reason, we found it. Ahem. Yeah. As you guys proceed to leave the restaurant and go to test everything, the camera will zoom up to the sky and fade out. Thank you, players, for playing. Thank you, watchers, for watching. This has been another session of San Francisco by Night, Hunter the Vigil. See you next time.